is dressing for the male gaze better or the for the female gaze better? Correct answer is probably female, but today we're gonna be trying to find a balance in between those gazes and we're gonna be dressing for both the male and female gaze. I'm gonna be starting with makeup and then hair and then outfit selection, but we're not gonna stop there because details matter people, okay? We're also gonna focus on perfume selection, jewelry and nails. Don't mind my middle finger. Okay, that nail fell off, but we're gonna get it fixed. We're gonna get it fixed. All right, it's makeup time. For the male gaze, the no makeup makeup look goes good. And if you're going to do makeup, they usually lean more towards the doughy kind of Bambi eyes makeup. For the female gaze, we usually see the makeup makeup look, which means eyeliner and eyeshadow, leaning towards that kind of siren look. Now, unfortunately for me, my eye shape doesn't really allow me to lean towards the siren look, so no matter what I do, I tend to lean more towards the doughy Bambi look. And that's because my eyes lean more towards a round kind of eye shape, and that's fine. If I do the no makeup makeup look, then I lean more towards the male gaze, but if I just include mascara and a tiny bit of eyeliner, then I am a balance between both. And we're gonna do that by adding a little bit of eyeliner, blending it out a little bit, to give it kind of that wing look. Adding a little bit of natural eyeshadow, just a little bit of a pink base. Okay, right, and now mascara. I'm trying to lean more towards the female gaze, but it's not really working. Now there is one step when it comes to like your blush and contour that really makes a difference when it comes to the male gaze and female gaze. Now your contour placement matters of course according to your face, but what mainly makes or break like the male or female gaze is the placement of the blush. If you put your blush right here, that leans more towards the female gaze. If you put it right in the center of your cheek, that leans more towards the male gaze. But since my eyes are already leaning towards the male, so we're gonna go for the cheeks for the fiends. Fiends. Creating more of a high cheekbone situation. Let's set it. I also found that females love a good highlight. So we're not gonna skip out on that. We're gonna the nose. I'm gonna go in with a kind of like a darker lipstick by Saint Laurent and set it. All right, moving on to hair. Okay, so we're gonna do kind of like a goody two shoes hairstyle. Half up, half down kind of situation. We're also gonna go ahead and add a little Oh. Please tell me that is centered because I can't see. Okay, let's go change outfits so we can uh, balance this out from the male to female gaze. When you think of a female gaze outfit, think of Billie Eilish. Think of baggy, think of comfortable. So we're gonna put on biker shorts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Then we're gonna take a white plain button up. From right here, you can see that the personality completely changed from me wearing the sundress. We're gonna go in with sneakers. To give it like a cute little innocent feel, we're gonna go in with some little ruffle socks. We're gonna go in with a little black Lulu lemon cross bag. I like that the neckline is low, but I kind of want to open it, but I feel like if, yeah, I'm going to try putting on a short shirt underneath. Oh yeah, I like that. And it's also lace, so it gives a little bit more of a promiscuous feel to it. And this is our final look. All right, let's move on to jewelry. Psych, we're actually gonna move on to perfume. Our hair and makeup is for the male gaze and our outfit is for the female gaze, so we want our perfume to be for the male gaze. So we want something sweet and light and not so smelling like a son of a bitch. We're gonna go with the Coach Floral Perfume. As for necklaces, a simple little single pendant is typically for the male gaze. Now, if you were going for the female gaze, it would be a bunch of layered necklaces, like a lot more necklaces. Chains, think about these little lockets. From now on, we're going to focus on making the male gaze pop. So we're going simple. And nothing beats simple than some little dangly pearls. Or if you have pearls itself, that's even simpler. Now, bold and funky earrings, those are for the female gaze. For the bracelet, we're also gonna keep it simple. And this is always my go-to, my fake Cartier bracelet from Shein. And the most expensive thing that I'm wearing is my wedding ring. So right now we have makeup for the male gaze, hair for the male gaze, outfit for the female gaze, jewelry for the male gaze, and lastly we got to move on to the nails. Right now these nails are for the females, okay? It has designs, lots of colors, they're all kind of different from one another. I know it's grown out, okay, and I need to get it refilled. We're about to go do that, so calm down. When it comes to the male gaze, you can never go wrong with red nails. That's why there's something called the red nail theory. If you haven't heard of it, Google it. Let's go get our nails done. And done. I had to go somewhere else today because my nail tech wasn't working, but uh, she did it pretty good. Okay, I finished eating. I'm gonna call my husband in here so he can like see my outfit and rate it for you guys. Like if you saw me on the street, would you yeah, come? Yeah, tell me what I was supposed to say. 
No, you're supposed to be genuine. <laughs> All right, go. Ready, go. What part do you like the most about my outfit? Look, I'll give you a spin. Your socks. I like the frilly things on the socks. <laughs> That's not what I was supposed to say. You could say, I don't know, my makeup or my hair, the little bow that I added in my hair. You picked the fucking ruffle socks yeah, so cool. out of everything. <laughs> All right, go. Ready? <laughs> Listen, I don't think you're understanding the assignment. Listen, the assignment is pretend I'm a stranger, okay? You're single, I'm single, okay? You see me on the street wearing this. What? It looking like this? At Listen to me before you answer. Which part of the body do I see first? Oh my god! The front god. or the back? I don't know. I do a quick spin, okay? Everything. Yeah, I'm looking at your butt, for real. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm looking at that ass. <laughs> Would you say that this outfit's for the female gaze or for the male gaze? With those pants on, it's for the damn male gaze. <laughs> Honey, I can't help that I got my ass, okay? Okay, so my nails. Do you like my nails? They're red. Oh my god, Ben, I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. Do you prefer my nails like this or when I do designs? Like when I have my nails before. Sometimes I like it. Just Wait, but listen. You asked me questions. I wasn't done asking the question. And yeah, then but you... then I forget my answer. Okay, can't... I'm gonna ask the question. You know the nails that I had before, the little orange ones that had the blue in them? Literally before I got these done. You remember my nails? Yeah, with all that had like a half an inch of freaking nail growing. Mm hmm, that one. Do you prefer those ones or these ones? Um. So if you would do like all of them one color and just one nail with a design, that would be pretty cool. You didn't answer my motherfucking question. <laughs> I like it. I like it when you put both of them together. No! The yeah. question is, do you rather those ones or these ones? There's no, oh, but the third option. Next question. Do you like my hair like this? Mm-hmm. You doing it like that every day? I don't know. But like once a week? Yeah, I look good. <laughs> the video, okay, the video that I'm filming is dressing for the male and female gaze, trying to create a balance between both gazes. You're dressing for my gaze. Oh my god, honey, I know, I know. But for the sake of this video, I'm dressing for the male and female gaze. It's a trend that's on TikTok. The female and male gaze versus each other. Which one is better? Isn't it just called gays and lesbians? No, honey, it's not gay. It's not gay. It's gays with a Z. It's G-A-Z-E. Gays. That does sound like gays. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought about the outfit and if you agree that I tried to create a balance or if I was able to create a balance between the female and male G-A-Z-E-S. Is it G-A-I-S-E? No, it's G-A-Z-E. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs>